Good day viewers, welcome to this channel App Life. In this video, I want to talk about two major topics. First one is the time to pray. That is number one. And the second topic is design to identify fake people. So let me go straight to the point. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friend and through any kind of social media you are using. One thing that can make your prayer not answer is when there is too much sin. Yes, too much sin. No one is clean. Please, I want you to understand me this. I remember two years ago when one woman said she had a different kind of problem. I told her instantly, go and ask God for forgiveness and you shall be free. She cut off the call and even blocked me on WhatsApp, on call. I was like, okay, no problem. I felt embarrassed and instantly I asked God, if what I said was true, that's going to set this woman free, please let her come to apologize. Fortunately, after a month, she unblocked me and messaged me. I was like, ah, this is the woman again? Begging me and who am I to judge? Your opinion. Yes, I, I told her, who am I to, to judge your, your opinion? Blocking me has nothing to do with my life. The reason the woman came back is that she said one elderly woman saw her in the street and, and the woman also told her to go and ask for forgiveness and everything is going to be good for her. It's a long story because she later drew all what I told her and she are, she's now living, yes, yeah, she's a living testimony today. I just let you know that power behind sin, yes, just let you know the, the power behind sin. That great grandpa will be the sinner and four generation will still be tortured through what the great grandpa did. I think you understand what I try to explain here. In my last video, I said I would make a video on how to pray and time. In the comments, someone said that prayer is answer anytime and 100% true. But at the same time, everything in this life has procedure and policy. If you have PhD in accounting, I want to use this as an example. If you have PhD in accounting and a bank employs you, on your, on your first resume date, you have to go through how they are operated there. You can't just start working because you know you, you know it or because you have a PhD in accounting. Before all you have work, you have to go through everything with different bank. Maybe you have worked with different banks before. You have to go through their own procedure and how they are operating there. So when you follow the normal procedure, you will get quick results. That's what I mean. The prayer I'm talking about is not about early morning prayer or bedtime prayer. That's normal family routine and it's not because of anything. It's to teach our children so they can learn and understand the purpose of prayer. I did not search those prayers don't answer, please. I want you to understand me on this also. The prayer I'm talking about is when you need something from God. Yes, we always pray to ask something from God, but it's more and more important than each other. When you wake up in the morning, when you said, God, protect me today. Yes, sure. Either you pray or you did not pray. God is going to protect you. I want you to know that. So, any kind of what you want from God, choose three days. So, I want to start the, the teaching, the main teaching there. Anything, any kind of things you want from God, choose three days or seven days of prayer. If you cannot fast, use the little resources you have to make one person happy during the time. It may be money, food, clothes, etc. 
If you choose three days of prayer, make sure you are doing the prayer between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. I did not say you should pray from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., but make sure you wake up in between the time and start the prayer. During that time, prayer answers so fast because it's not easy when everyone is sleeping and you wake up asking God what you want. It's, it's discipline. Both you and uh, uh, a soldier are a human being. But what makes them become a soldier is called discipline. So when you discipline yourself, definitely you are going to get quick results. It's just as like maybe you are kind of person that when you when you want to do something great and then you are you 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 like to inform one one person or other person and at the end this thing will not come to pass again you should know that instantly when you think of doing great things let it be in your mind until when you achieve your goal so for you not to tell second party or third party that means you give yourself discipline and definitely you are going to achieve it on day one don't ask god what you want directly that is why i said everything has a procedure on day one on the first day you start the prayer don't ask god what you want directly ask god for forgiveness that is the reason why i tell the story of one woman in the beginning of this video ask god for forgiveness on the day two ask god for what you want and on day three praise god and thank him as if god has done what you requested sit down and watch how god is going to make it happen automatically but i must tell you that the forgiveness you ask from the day one don't mention anything don't ask god for anything just be asking for forgiveness don't let me say i swear but i'm very sure that the prayer is going to ask is going to answer if you choose seven days use complete three days to ask for forgiveness then use the the rest day to ask for what you want and praise god there is no way you can do this without getting the normal result of the prayer i'm telling you this a lot of people know and they understand this but they may not even notice like why am i praying and then my prayer did not answer i'm not god but god just give me the little knowledge to educate you one last thing if you want to pray at midnight always light a candle and light incense if you do this you will feel it during the prayer that something is happening instantly this is not a joke it's something i've tried time without number yes you will feel it that yes you are doing something it's not like it's not going to be like normal prayer the spirit will come and then you will feel it in your body like yes something is happening instantly i want to say one thing in most of my video i have been saying this if you are the kind of person who always wake up suddenly at a certain time like one maybe 1 a.m 2 a.m 3 a.m suddenly you just wake up suddenly like no one is touching you and quickly use that opportunity to ask god what you want during the time god always answer prayer is it tested and confirmed let me talk about the last topic yes this is the last topic stay away from those who always come to you telling you god said god said all is fake and lie those people can never let you have the rest of the mind in life when you always come across some some, some people some man of god or whatever they call themselves god said god said god said look at look back and see and digest those who always said god said god said when god is telling you that you see god go and tell someone that god said this stay away from them if you want to have the rest of the mind I did not condemn anyone because nothing concerned me about about religion because what I'm what I'm teaching here is not is not concerning any religion but I'm telling you something that that can let you have rest of the mind because I want you to know that sometimes when you have money having money doesn't mean maybe you can have rest of the mind 
Sometimes when you have rest of the mind, with the little you have, you understand it. You it you look like you have billions. Please stay away from those who always say God said, God said. It's a red flag. When you have a spiritual father, but all that your spiritual father always sees that won't happen to you is there is a spiritual arrow here, there is an attack somewhere, there is this, there is that, and your spiritual father never sees something good coming coming to you and start prayer for you. Yes, and start a pray a, a prayer for you to let the good thing happen to you. Stay away from such a spiritual father. They, they have nothing, they have good things to offer for you, to, to offer you when they always say, see, arrow, attack, and this and that. They are fake. This thing is not like maybe I'm just in, I'm just thinking and then I'm seeing it out. No, it's something that is happening to a lot of people. So the reason they always mention attack or arrow is that no one wants to die. Yes, and no one wants to get sick. So they will use such a format to scare you and you will start to run in hectare scatter. They usually do this when they need money. I'm not trying to say this to spoil anyone's business or whatever, but if you have a spiritual father who always come up with this kind of strategy, please block him or block her. You can never have good things in your life. You will be working for them all the money you you work for and then you'll be sending it to, to the person. Any spiritual father telling you do to, to do deliverance and asking you to pay for deliverance is not real. Yes, it's not real. Stay away from them because God is the one that's going to do it. Yes, that's going to make the deliverance work. And there is no guarantee that the deliverance is going to work after the deliverance. You give the person, you, you give you, you you give the spiritual father what you have to appreciate. Yes, I mean after the deliverance, you understand, you can give the spiritual father what you have to appreciate because he dedicates his time to do it, but asking for a certain amount, like okay, uh, my son or my daughter, I will need to do spiritual uh, the, the, the deliverance, and then you have to pay hundred dollars, two hundred dollars is a fake. Faith, yeah, asking for a certain amount is a red flag because once you pay for it, for the first time, that is how you will always come up with, with the idea of deliverance since you are going to pay for it. Please, wake up. Especially in Africa here, people are getting scammed on this kind of, of, of thing. I had the opportunity to become a millionaire suddenly through this channel, as I said earlier, because I met a lot of people with some riches ready to pay in order to meet them. Very rich people. Yes, they are very rich. And if I come up with an idea of attacking today, arrow tomorrow, suddenly, surely, yeah, surely they will pay the money in big way but future is more important than today i rather ask people to give me that use a greedy to tormenting someone's life because of my need no i can't do that so when you have someone tormenting you like uh, arrow today uh, attack tomorrow shooting something stay away from such a people be as fake Especially in Africa, here is a is a is a trending format they are using to collect to get money from people, especially those who are living in abroad. Please try to understand. I choose the rest of the mind over money. Please be careful who you choose to guide you. Those people damage than repair. Stay away from them. Sit down and digest and then make your decision. Don't be scared of anyone. Nothing will happen to you, I must tell you the fact. The death you are scared of is the same death that is going to, to kill me, kill you, and kill who you are scared not to kill you. I think you understand this. The death you are scared of is the same death that is going to kill me, kill you, and kill who you are scared not to kill you. So you have no reason 
not to confront a monster who is tormenting your life, both physically and spiritually, in, in, in a vague way. Please, I think you understand. If you want to get more and more knowledge from this video I just made, please, because sometimes everything is not about go and punch this, go and punch that, but with the little with the little it's not like maybe you don't know this thing before but you may not remember it but watching this video may let you remember and understand more better because we reason in a different way so i think you are going to gain something from this video so if you have some question you can ask if i have capacity and then i have knowledge of what you are asking i will definitely answer you Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, if this is the first time you come across my video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you so much. May God bless all of us and answer our prayer. Amen.